On any given week, you'll find about 80 pets of the Guam Animals in Need shelter in Jigo, waiting to go to a happy home. We're usually at pretty much full capacity. According to GAIN Executive Director Allison Hadley, adopting a pet is not as difficult as one might think. It starts with either going to GAIN's website or visiting the Jigo shelter to fill out a questionnaire. We just want to know how many uh, adults or children or elderly are in your home, um, if you have any other pets, if you have questions about certain things like potty training, what to feed uh, your animal, that sort of stuff, just so we have an idea of what you're looking for, and that'll help us uh, uh, reflect on the animals that the uh, applicant has interest in to make sure that it's a good fit for the family and also to give them um, as many resources as possible to move forward with their new pet. Once the questionnaire is completed, there's a $125 fee which covers a microchip, basic vaccines, dewormers, spay and neutering surgery, and an additional $30 fee for a rabies vaccine for animals that are three months or older. And this is a legal requirement to adopt on Guam. We love to send them out same day. Uh, families are super excited to take them home right away and it, it opens up kennels for us uh, as well. Guam Animals in Need is partnering with KUAM as part of NBC's Clear the Shelter campaign and on Saturday we'll be hosting an adoption event from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. GAIN will also be offering $5 off on all the adoption fees. We would love to clear the shelter, um, that would, that's the ultimate goal, but of course we're just really looking to promote adoptions and gain as much as possible, get the community out here to see who's available. We go through animals like crazy, the turnaround's pretty quick, so um, you might be here one weekend and then next weekend it's a totally different group, so we want people to come out and see who's available. During the event there will be food trucks and extra perks such as coupons from Fetch and Mona Alicia Pet and Grooming. So we're really hoping for people to come out and, and take a look and just enjoy being with the animals. And if they can't adopt, we also love to have them come out and just socialize with the animals. It really helps them become more adoptable to be exposed to more people.